Did you ever need to lock a record from being modified after it's been created? Well, there are two ways to do this on NetSuite. The first one is by using the roles. So you will assign the people who are only able to create these transactions the role that will allow them to do this, but not modify it. So for example, if I am using the AR clerk and I want to use it as a base to create my own custom role, I customize it and I and I can call it my AR clerk role. Okay, and then at the bottom here, let's say you want to let anyone within this role, anyone who has this role, the ability to create cash sales but not modify them, then you will just set create here and then save this. Anyone logged in with this role will still be able to modify transactions, but once they log out and log back in, then they won't be able to anymore. That's the first way. The second way is to um, to go and use a workflow. So workflows are part of customization. You can create a new workflow. So some departments can uh, modify cash sales, some others should not. So it's a transaction, it's based on a transaction and the transaction is the cash sale. All right. So the workflow is gonna only work on cash sale transactions. Now the, the event definition is both on create or view and update. Uh, I can set a condition here. So we're going to the user record and on the user, we can look for the department. And we can say if it is equal to, let's say, I don't know, accounting department, then for some reason, maybe we don't want them to, to modify anything. Maybe only the sales department should be able to do that, but once it's uh, it's confirmed, then the accounting department should not be able to uh, to modify the, the cash sale. Okay, so that's the first step. I will save this. And the second step is within the action. So within the state, sorry, I'm going to create an action. And here I'm going to click on new action, and then I'm going to say lock record. The action is to lock the record. There's no, there's no real uh, condition here. Uh, it's uh, before record load. That's fine. Or it could be on uh, create or edit, and then I can click on save. So right now, anyone who's got the accounting department uh, will not be able to modify a cash sale. Okay, so I think that you understand now the basics of how to lock a record on NetSuite. It could be either using the role or it could be using workflows. I hope this video was useful to you. If so, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.